All right, everybody, we're just going to get real. We're going to get started here pretty quickly. I want to go over this video pretty fast because there's not really much to tell except for that the challenge didn't go too well. And I knew that it probably wasn't going to go too well just because of how well it was starting off when we got started with the challenge. Uh, if you do remember, we did start it on the 13th of July. Um, it's about the 19th, it's not the 19th right now. And the challenge is supposed to end on the 26th, but we have officially failed it. Um, as you can see, our max daily loss of $500 has been smashed through. And our max loss of 1000 didn't even make it. So uh, with our stats that you can see right here, it didn't go very well. And it all really started possibly on Thursday of last week just before the market closed. On Friday, we closed in drawdown with around, I think we were maybe in the 250, 300 mark. So already then I was a little worried just because of the drawdown that we were with, with only, I think only one pair or two pairs. And knowing that the X, the triple X bot opens up multiple pairs when in drawdown. So when the market opened, I had a feeling that we could dip even lower just by looking at the chart. I had a feeling that it could continue to move down a little bit more until really looking for a really nice um, demand level before moving it on its way back up. So er, later in Sunday and then come Monday, um, it, we just tumbled more and more. I think it was maybe Sunday evening where we blew past the daily limit. And then it wasn't until I think late last night or early this morning where we just blew past the <clears throat> the max loss, unfortunately, and uh, I'm I'm not sure what pairs are actually open with it right now. Let's take a quick look. As you can see, this is my personal account, so let's go to the FTMO one. Uh, so we have a lot of trades open on the AUD USD, and by the chart, uh, you can see that we have opened up a lot of positions with the buy. And uh, the market just really hasn't gone our way. And uh, if I'm correct, I'm, I'll pull this up here up on my phone here because unfortunately I can't connect them on my computer fast enough for you guys. But um, on the actual account, yeah, we're, we're about $2,000 in drawdown. So that whole entire challenge is just out the window right now. Um, a majority of it is the AUD USD. And I think total with just that one pair were two, four, six. Six, eight, uh, ten. We're about fourteen hundred dollars in drawdown just with that one pair. Not that great, right? So, I think the problem is, and though it's it happened, I would see this as more of a learning opportunity because this is the first time that we've run the swing account. This is the first time that we've used it on default settings with the recommended pairs and being able to hold the trades over the weekend and hold throughout any news. So um, I'm guessing now that really the one thing that we really have to, that we have to modify is the lot size because of this drawdown. And I don't like how it just continues to uh, make larger lot size as it continues to dip deeper. And if this was just a regular account and it wasn't, and there were no limitations to the drawdown, I would say this was fine in that eventually it would recover and these open positions here that are much bigger lot sizes just means that we don't have to return up to the very top to have them all closed. But because we have the limitations of the FTMO challenge, like a $500 daily and a $1,000 overall drawdown, we it's just oh, it's almost impossible for the bot to be able to, to understand that. I mean, you would have to make a new bot and really structured around the FTMO challenge to make it worth it. Um, but I think until we find the right lot size, these are the things that we're going to run into. And I believe that if, if we're going to do it again, I think that we need to turn off auto lot. And I think we really need to keep it either. I was actually thinking of even having putting the lot size to 15 cents, um, maybe at 20, just as it was before. And it was doing really well. But again, when we hit those drawdown, is it going to be able to survive? And just like we saw from last week, if you watched the previous video, um, and then this week, 
right now uh, they're two very different things for the very first video we were doing so well with profits coming in we were so close to our to our profit target of five hundred dollars with almost only three days in but I mentioned in the previous video that that also concerned me as well because if it's doing so well and we were so close to our target what would happen if we ran into these red days like a red day or a red week which is what's happening right now and the results are you would fail the FTMO and they would close down your account so we need to find a new way I think we need to lower the lot size and I think it needs to be a fixed so that even if it continues to move down though it may have to return a little bit higher this right here it increasing every single time it gets to a key level of, of support or resistance if it's a buy uh, it just increases the lot size more and more and if it continues to go down just like it has here the drawdown gets bigger and bigger and bigger really quickly and with a ten thousand dollar account which is the challenge that we're doing right now what we're going to stick to that just can't happen so we need to change the lot size and I believe it has to be much smaller. I've had some people tell me that we need to make it bigger so that we can actually get to our profit target. But I don't believe that that's right. I think we need to in this for this one right here, the $10,000 challenge swing trader uh, profile, we need to lower the lot size and I think it needs to be fixed. I'm not going to switch over to the Xbox because I don't believe the Xbox is going to do any better. I think if we can just modify a few things with the triple x bot on the ftmo challenge i think we can overcome these adversities but uh, i don't know I'd, I'd, it, it could be uh something that may not be able to happen i know some people have passed but again just like i've said in previous videos before it's not about passing it's about the consistency after you do pass and this is what i'm talking about because you could have a, a great week or a great month and then all of a sudden you are going to run into these drawdown phases and how you deal with them and how far they go down it really depends on the settings you use and if you're going to be able or if you will hit those limitations that the ftmo has which now we've hit back to back times now though we have switched accounts and we were running default settings for both of them i did want to see how it would run the very first time on default settings with the swing account and this is what's happened so we're just going to close the vps right now just because you guys have seen uh kind of what's happening right now um if for anyone that's tuning in a little late these are the overall results that we have so we're, we're not even five days into this yet as you can see and we're we failed like you could take a look at the max daily loss that's what we that's what the result of it and our max loss that's what it is um, these are the trades that uh, that happened in the duration of when it was going well and as you can see the lot size is fluctuate from anywhere from 0 0.20 to 0.28 and so that's where I had the idea of either dropping it down to 0.15 or even 0.10 and seeing how far or if that makes a difference because we, we aren't even five days into this into this challenge and we've already failed. We have two weeks and on the real challenge we have a month. So passing the challenge in a few days just doesn't seem realistic, especially when we're looking for the longevity of passing and being able to be consistent over just a couple of days or a few weeks. We want this to be over month a month long months long period so that uh, if we do run into drawdowns, we aren't hitting any of these limits. So I believe we, we do have to change something. I don't think we need to change any of the pairs. I think we just need to change the lot size and make it a fixed lot so that regardless if it goes down, it's not opening up bigger positions as it gets deeper and deeper. We just need to have a fixed, whether it's, it's entering or uh, if it's getting bigger or smaller. I think we just need to have it at a fixed lot size so that the, the problem doesn't happen. Um, here are the daily results that we got from when we started until now. It's just been stagnant now because of, because of the drawdown that that's happened. But that's pretty much it, guys. I, I, there's not very much else to uh, really update on except for that we failed this second attempt. Again, I, I believe the third attempt will be better because every time that we 
do a challenge, a test challenge, and we learn something from the previous challenge that we take into the new challenge, we can get better or at least hopefully change the settings so that it things tip in our favor a little bit more even when they aren't going our way. So I'm going to wrap up the video here. You guys have seen the, the VPS. I've told you guys the, the stats that we have right now. You know when it started, the account size. Uh, you know that I've been using all the default settings. So auto lot is on. Uh, we're using the recommended pairs. Safe mode is on the lowest setting. And for the next, next time that we're going to run this, I think we're going to keep it, all the settings except for we're going to change the fixed lot size and then we're going to change the lot size so that's pretty much it so if anyone else has any suggestions or you've been running your own back testing and you want to share something be sure to leave a comment down below i appreciate you guys following along i know some of you may be getting frustrated with the results but you know this isn't I, this can't be something that just can be found with a snap i believe you, you we really have to dig and look for the right settings to pass the challenge and then be able to continue to bring in profit without dipping into these crazy drawdowns because as you can see when you use these bots drawdown is a normal thing you can't hide from it you can't cancel it it's, it's just it's there no matter if you're manual trading or using a, a robot so it, it is what it is uh, please like and subscribe and take care everyone